this should be the last install before we attempt first start. And I say that very lightly because there's things that can go wrong. Everybody knows that. Hopefully, nothing does go wrong. But here we are today attempting to put everything together so that we can get our start. For those that build cars, they can know how nervous I am. Especially all the money that I've dumped into this project, as you can see. Follow the build or, you know, there's videos on everything that's done on this car. But I'm going to skip to the real stuff. This is what we're installing today. This is the AEM Wideband AEM Uego, if that's how it's pronounced. U-E-G-O, Uego, whatever. The Wideband O2 sensor. This is the last thing that I need to uh, plug in, basically. This is pretty much the kit. Comes with the gauge. Comes with instructions connector sensor harness some uh um some connection points for you know wiring alternate face plug so you know you got the harness plug that plugs directly into this and this plugs directly into this so you got a decent amount of wiring and stuff i think this is heat shrink but it might not be i'm not sure what that is so instructions for this are pretty simple you have your sensor that you want to take and you know for if you have my application you're gonna need a custom downpipe for it oh sensor makes that bung so there we go for that hopefully this yeah. So you get the wide band O2 sensor in there and just kind of get that to thread in there. I'm using this <laughs> since I only got one hand. Boom. You know, I'm not going to have it in super tight because <laughs> I'm probably going to you know have to take this down pipe back off again but that's the first step then you have the connector connector goes to this harness and as you can see the back of this harness is white to match that plug so this harness after I get it undone let's see if I could do this with one hand and I'm really just kind of not necessarily winging it. The only thing I needed to look up was the wires on the other harness so I can know which ones go to which. Because on the back side of this harness is just straight wires. And we got so red and black power and ground. I believe white is five volt reference and then blue is the signal or the can communication. So I'll go over that because I tried to read these instructions and let me just show you what happened. All right, that. these are the AEM instructions. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check this out. Has you really been far, even as decided to use even go want to look more like? Call 985 655 2500 inside the details for go further and even more decided to use. So after you put the sensor in, connect that harness there you got a long wiring harness I'll let you know that and then that one plugs into the gauge so that shows you know all this stuff and then this other one plugs to the other side of the gauge and this is what you will have to hardwire in so you want to figure out where your gauge is going to mount it route this harness accordingly mine is going to be routed through the firewall kind of where the ECU stuff is and then back over to the driver's side to where my gauge holder is going to be and then I'm going to plug this in and figure that out. 
So when you finally get it routed, ignore my spaghetti. Um, this is where I'm gonna have the air fuel gauge and then the other one's gonna be boost. But yeah, once you get it routed to wherever you're gonna route it to, I'm gonna go ahead and take the gauge, plug in the two connectors that go to it. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so just bear with me on that. And it looks like we're in business. So remember that one goes to this side. The other one goes to the other side. Just bring this out a little bit more. Ugh. Very hard to do with one hand and record, but there you go. Now you can see that both of them are plugged in. So now that those are routed, I can pull it back on this. Make sure you have it upright. And then slide it in there. Like so. And I'm just pushing it all the way back. There we go. Then boom. And now you have your gauge mount it and everything so when i'm driving this is the view you know the steering wheel is at lock right now but that'll be the view the other one will be boost when i get to that point um so as for this this one this is the long wire that goes to the sensor now that you got all this extra wire you got to figure out where you're gonna um steering wheels in the way you gotta figure out where you're gonna hide that right now i'm not going to because I'm chasing first start after I make sure that everything is good and ready to go then I will start tucking those wires those wires and all the other stuff all the other wires and stuff like that that need to be tucked so I'm gonna leave that right there for now this set goes to different things so I'm trying to get down the light so yeah black ground red is power and the one thing that i did get from the instructions that are in hebrew now i'm just messing with you guys it's not really in hebrew but uh what i did get from the instructions is if i can open it with one hand there you go Red is power, black is ground, white is a five volt output, and blue is the serial output. So blue is the wire, or at least for this kit, blue is the wire that's gonna go to your ECU. The rest of it, you know, power and ground is pretty easy. I do have to find a five volt reference. You can take that from the ECU as well. And I think that's what I'm gonna do just to be safe, you know. <sighs> Uh, so I got some wiring to do. This is why I got the patch harness so that I can go ahead and just wire in gauges and stuff like that without having to directly mess with the harness. But yeah, so that's what I'll be doing. I'm gonna 12 volts of ground. Let me see. I know I have 12 volts to one of these switches. Well, to both of these switches for my LEDs, so I might just go put that one to here. That is a ground that I made right there. It works, so I might put the ground to that. The 5 volt reference is one that I'm just going to have to find if I don't decide to go with the ECU one. And then the um, signal output is the... I'll show you guys what wire I go to for that one. And then after you get these all wired up, I got them temporarily wired. So blue is going to the can communication. Wiring Specialties provides a wire labeled wide band for that. Um, which one? The white is going to ECU 5 volt output, which is pin 48 for the Neo. The black one is going to a ground right there. And then the red one is going to fuse box power. I just got them tucked right there. And as you can see, the gauge is working. It does a little animation and stuff when you get it all connected and stuff, but yep, 
everything is good to go. So that's pretty much how you install the AEM. Um, yeah, I'd say like, comment, subscribe, follow the build. Till next time.